Good Sunday morning, everybody. Chris here with High Seas Cruising, and welcome to the Cruise News. And I want to start off today saying Happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there. So let's jump into the cruise news, and today we're going to start with Celebrity Cruise Lines. Now, Celebrity Cruise Lines has announced that they have canceled a complete month's worth of sailings for the Celebrity Apex, and this is due to a change in their dry dock schedule. Now, Celebrity Cruise Lines has already reached out, sent emails out to those that are going to be affected, and these are for cruises October 23rd, 2024, through November 23rd of 2024. These sailings must unfortunately be redeployed to accommodate an earlier dry dock schedule. Due to this change in dock availability, we must cancel bookings and reaccommodate guests to alternative sailing. Now, Celebrity has offered five alternative sailings that passengers can choose from. If they choose one of those five sailings, their rates will be protected or they'll actually be given the lowest available rate in that particular accommodation. They can also rebook on any other Celebrity cruise. The rates will be what they you know currently are to be at current rate levels, but they'll also receive $200 an onboard credit per cabin and $400 of onboard credit per suite. And finally, any guests that simply wish to cancel, they can receive a full refund of any money they paid back to their original form of payment. And finally, we have some menu changes for Carnival Cruise Lines, at least in their main dining room. And this is something I've heard people say multiple times that they'd like to see changes in Carnival's main dining room. And you know what? I can agree because it does seem like and feel like that Carnival's main dining room menus have been the same for quite a while, you know, couple of last couple of years at least. A few changes here and there, but overall, it's essentially been the same main dining room menu. So if you were hoping Carnival was going to change the menus, it definitely looks like they're going to. They are talking about adding over 60 new items to the menu, including dishes that'll be coming from their specialty restaurants. Now, they actually started this yesterday. So it began yesterday on the Carnival Dream. That is the ship that they are going to roll it out on. That is the ship that they're going to test it out on, get a little bit of feedback from, and they expect it to be rolled out to the remainder of the fleet come this fall. I'm going to show you guys a quick video from Christine Duffy, president of Carnival Cruise Lines, where she talks about some of the upcoming menu changes. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to tell your fans about some changes coming to the main dining room across the fleet. Starting with this Saturday's embarkation on Carnival Dream, we're going to be testing a new menu in the main dining room. Then the goal is that we'll start implementing these changes across the fleet this fall. Now, this was all done in consultation with our Chief Culinary Officer, Emeril Lagasse, where we've been looking at every aspect of the main dining room offerings. I think our guests are going to be very excited as we plan to bring more variety with nearly 60 new entree presentations that will rotate through the menu in main dining. The menu is going to include offerings from our specialty dining restaurants across the fleet so that more of our guests can experience the wide variety of great food we offer, no matter which ship you're sailing on. And we're also addressing bigger portion offerings on certain entrees based on your feedback. Of course, we will always preserve our fan favorites like chocolate melting cake and bitter and blanc. We're also going to be offering more vegetarian options and we've decided to add a dining and entree salad. So a nice big salad with a protein. And Carnival Journeys Voyages will also have more variety to keep things fun and interesting on those longer itineraries. So, if you're going to be sailing Carnival Dream this summer, enjoy the new menu. I know you'll be sharing your feedback. And for the rest of our guests, we look forward to introducing these menu enhancements coming to your cruise very soon. Thanks again for all your support. I'm here on our beautiful new Carnival Venezia in the main dining room. Now, no specific changes have been released. So they haven't released a menu yet. They haven't said they're adding this dish or that dish yet. 
However, like I said, this rolled out yesterday on the Carnival Dream. So folks that are currently out sailing on that particular ship will be seeing these changes, which means we should start to get some examples of menus and what new dishes are going to be offered. As soon as we have that, we will get that out to everybody. But I'll ask you, are you looking forward to some changes in Carnival Cruise Lines? Looking forward to, you know, some new dishes, some new options to pick from. And would this make you go back to the main dining room if you don't normally go to the main dining room? Or if you already do, does it just make you look forward to the next time you get a chance to go in there and possibly eat something you've never eaten before? Let me know what you guys think about Carnival Cruise Lines changing their menus. And that's going to be our cruise news video for this Sunday. I hope everyone out there has a really great day. I hope all the dads out there have a really great Father's Day and that everyone out there is having a really great weekend. If you've enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.